Okay. This is in response to Makeup by Tiffany's The Natural Look with the Teal Eyeliner. Um, I'm going to start off by just showing you the brushes that I use and the palette that I'm going to be using um, instead. Um, to start out with, uh, off with, I already put on my um, Ipoxy Primer by Coastal Scents, and it's been sitting for about a minute, two minutes, which is what you want to do with this. So the palette that I will be using is my Urban Decay, and I'm going to be using Smog, Maui Wowie, and Shattered for the main colors, and then for my highlight, I will be using Positive by Lancome, right there, and my brushes. I'll be using my Sonia Kashuk Large Flat. That will be for my highlight. And to put on the Maui Wowie, it's kind of a medium size. This is a Lancome number 11. And it's just a flat shader brush. For the Smog, this is also by Sonia Kashuk, and it's just a large fluff brush. I think it's a... Um, a crease blending brush or something like that is what it's called. So that's that. And then for the teal color underneath, this is just a flat square um, eyeliner that I will be using. Okay. So first, I always add the highlight, and this just lets everything, the colors blend really nice. And I like to pat it on there. I don't like to so much just swish it. I just like to pat it on there. And it's also good for the epoxy primer to pat it on there. It sticks a little bit better, I, I found. So first, I went in with the Maui Wowie, and I'm just going to get it on one side. And starting with the inner corner, again, patting all the way out. And just a little bit more. And the Maui Wowie has glitter a lot. At least I can... Because it's a shimmery color, but then it actually... There, you can see it. You can see the flecks of glitter. And so this, you definitely want to pat it onto your eye. Otherwise, the glitter will just fall everywhere underneath, and it'll just... I know it bugs me. So... Again, just patting it on there, and it'll stick better onto the primer this way, too. And I'm going just past my crease. Alright, now I'm going to go in with the crease brush. And I'm not really swirling it, I'm just tapping it like that. And I'll just get onto the tip. And you're going to start on the outside. And I'm starting at the corner and kind of sweeping it up to the like the tip of my brow. And then you're going to sweep it in. And just a little bit more again, just tapping it. And, and then start blending it up towards your eyebrow. And that's another really, that's why I really like this brush. It's big. Um, and it's fantastic for blending. Even just afterwards when you're done putting on your eyeshadow, just go over everything with this and it'll blend it really well. It's really good also for if you want like a sheer effect. If you don't want to put so much color down. You can just kind of touch it once, and I'll get just a little bit on the tips, and then you just kind of blend it on there, and it won't be, it'll just be a nice sheer wash of color. So again, you want most of your color to be on the outside corner. Make sure it's even. And it is. You're going to have your eyeliner brush and your mixing medium. Again, just a little drop on the back of the hand. And it'll soak it up really fast. So you don't have to smush it in there. Just kind of lay it in the little drop, and it'll soak up, soak it up for you. 
Okay, so then we're going to go in with Shattered. And I'm just going to pull down just enough so I can see, get to the lash line easy. Because otherwise I find that if I don't do that, I kind of tend to get it onto my waterline and I might accidentally poke my eye. <laughs> and we don't want that. Now this blue is not as intense as what uh, Tiffany was using, but I like it. But if you do want something more intense, then I'm, you can use any other eyeshadow. But this is just, I wanted to use one palette. And I kind of like this blue. And I didn't line my top my my eyelashes. I'm wondering if I should. And I think I like it. Like that. So let me go put on my mascara and then that'll be it. So here is the finished look with my eyelashes and the blue underneath. I don't have pictures right now. I left my camera at my friend's house so this will have to do. Um, it kind of looks washed out here but the colors are pretty much the same. Let's see if I can get it. The blue, like I said, is not as intense, but I kind of like it. I mean, you can still see it. Right here, it actually looks a little bit more washed out on the video, but it looks better in the camera. So, um, I hope this helps some of you that did not have MAC, um, and uh, maybe you have this palette. If not, really, it's just a brown and then a kind of goldish cream and then that blue underneath and you don't have to have an eyeliner of every color unfortunately I don't have the money for that but you can use um, just an eyeliner pencil and um, the uh, mixing medium is really good it helps it last and then you can just kind of make any eyeliner out of any eyeshadow um, so I hope it helped